so obviously shellfish allergies a um, a major problem for pretty much everybody. It's um, <laughs> a, a really significant issue for everybody who is alive. So. Uh, this research is unbelievably important and uh, the, the main issue is obviously with crabs and prawns um, because that's, that's the main thing that we um, want to eat, they're delicious and e every person who is aller allergic to shellfish also has this overwhelming drive to eat crabs and prawns. It's, it's like drug addiction, only far, far worse. Uh, it persists into adulthood. Um, so it's not just for kids. People who are adults have the same impulse control problems, probably worse than kids um, with crabs and shellfish. Uh, and there is no cure. It's, it's really sad. 100% um, mortality rate. Every adult in the world will die eventually of a shellfish allergy. Um, usually misdiagnosed at aut autopsy for some reason, but um, that's, that's what our research is showing. Um, as this uh, next slide will obviously demonstrate, um, we have a limited understanding of how, um, how this actually works and, and how we might be able to resolve it by just cooking uh, the hell out of crabs <laughs> to get rid of the proteins. You just denature them, obviously. Uh, so, um, yep. <laughs> this, this is the process of uh, cooking crabs to, um, to get rid of the allergic response. You can... Uh, you can cook them to the point that the protein will sensitize and actually become uh, quite human-like. Um, so, so to begin with, um, you cook the, the gut of the, the crab, you can see up here. And, and when you do that, um, is, is this a pointer? This thing here? Oh, cool, it is, yep. So when you, uh, you cook the, the gut of the crab, it releases the allergens with this um, MDEL. And MDEL, in fact, you might not know, but it is, it is a uh, human, human protein, yeah. Crabs have it for some reason. <laughs> we, we, um, we, you know how Neanderthals and Homo sapiens might have intermixed? Well, well crabs were in there somewhere. <laughs> there. We have this gene MDEL from them. So when you, when you cook the protein, it goes down this chain of temperature. Uh, and, and the allergen, um, those arrows are actually drawn the wrong way, sorry. Um, we, we had a bit of trouble with PowerPoint. So the allergen is actually extracted out at that point. Uh, and by the end, it's extracted out further over here, um, resulting in uh, just this protein here, TH2, which is totally um, fine for humans to eat. Um, yeah, so... This is a, a gene breakdown of uh, crabs, once you've cooked them. Um, you can see there's raw banana in, in prawn down here. But, but when you cook it, um, it turns green. And so um, after it's turned green, wait, we can't eat the red one, obviously. I mean, it's, it's like traffic lights. Like, red means stop, don't eat it. Uh, green means it's fine to eat. The trouble with these is that um, the proteins are really tiny, and so we, we can't see the colours of them. Um, so we've done this um, really cool immunoblock here um, and found out that once you purify the tropomyosin, um, it's all good. It's totally good. Uh, so in conclusion, cooked ac extracts show higher IgE reactivity than raw extracts. Um, and Ig reactivity uh, is um, our stomach acid um, producing uh, stuff that digests this protein um, that's actually human protein that got into the crabs through crossbreeding at some point in our evolutionary history um, with tropomyosin, which in, uh, is an important allergen. Um, but the identity of the other ones is still to be determined. They're different colours. Um, they're not red or green, so we're not quite sure about that. That's for future research. And we have a, a PhD student um, lined up to do that research. Um, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, in terms of clinical relevance, we can definitely improve patient management. We'll just give them one of these like really cool microscopes that's colour sensitive to just the red and green. They can put it over their food and we'll, we'll decrease that 100% mortality rate down to about 2%. Um, 
So that, that's great news. We'll all be living for thousands of years. Um, it's, a, it's a very nice thing. Um, we'll also improve the current diagnostic test so we can increase that specificity from, you know, 100% of people are allergic to shellfish to maybe, you know, 2% of people, um, which is nice. So, so not everybody needs to live in fear for the rest of their life. Um, lastly, we'll be able to aid the development of allergen-specific immunotherapy. So, yeah, as that bottle says right here, um, we'll be able to completely cure this for even those 2% who are um, uh, still sensitive to um, shellfish.